Well, do we like seeing Armour Felony speedruns? Well, I certainly like filming them, and none more so today, when I broke my personal best with the Armour Felony. How fast will it go? With and without this cat pack on board? Keep watching to find out. Game changer. That's what I'm holding in my hand. And if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know I don't use that word lightly. This is my power hobby cat pack review. And if you wonder why I'm saying game changer, you will want to keep watching because in this video, I test the felony on 6S without the cat pack and a GPS on board. And then I put the cat pack on board and do another GPS run. And to normalize things, I've got a fully charged pack on board on both of the runs. You'll find the first one with a felony. It's pretty darn quick. The second one, I was left speechless. Me, speechless. That's how fast this thing is with this on board. And if you'd like to know a little bit more about cat packs, this one from Power Hobby, it's rated from 2S to 12S. So that's pretty much gonna cover everything everyone needs. It doesn't come with a connector on. Now there's the hard way to fit it, which is to solder it across the terminals of your ESC, as a lot of people do recommend. However, you can see on this Spectrum ESC, that's gonna be just about impossible without a lot of work. The Castle ESCs make the job a little bit easier, but not an awful lot easier. In either case, if you solder it on, that means you can only use the cap pack on the one car. Or you could do it the easy way, which is to solder on your most commonly used battery connector by one of these parallel connectors, if you're running twin packs, you are going to need to use a single, maybe, and a jumper lead on here. With that on board, your battery can plug into here. This can plug into your ESC, and you've no need to have soldered your cat pack onto your ESC, meaning you can now use this on any of your RC cars. Thumbs up if you like that tip. Now, I know some of you out there are thinking, no, you idiot, it's got to be wired into the ESC. Otherwise, you'll, you'll lose what the cat pack's doing. Electricity travels at 300 million meters a second, or around about 90% of light speed. Anyone still think there's gonna be any kind of delay that's noticeable caused by that extra six inches of wire on there? Really? Anyway, time to take this outside to test it and show you why I think it is an absolute game changer and why you should get one of these. And at the end of the video, I'll talk you through a little bit about what the cat pack actually does in the most basic of terms. Just remember guys, if you like what you see today, don't forget to subscribe. Cat pack disconnected. I'm gonna set the GPS going, see how we get on. Now, it has been having a few issues with it stuttering previously. Improving the braking on that, Richie. See what we got on that. Wasn't going too mad on that. 98 miles an hour. I actually think that's quite impressive. Now, I'm gonna fit the cat pack on there and see if we can squeeze a little bit more out. Anyway, if you thought the run you just saw was fast, let's go and see why this is an absolute game changer. Okay, well, with the Power RB cat pack installed, a lot of the hesitation the car had at the start seems to have gone. So while it's not perfect for launching as yet, it is much, much better straight away with the Power RB Cat Pack fitted. And at the top end, I have a feeling it's gonna take a lot of the hesitancy out of the car. Just on 6S. Okay, what have we got in there, Rich? Come on, feed that power in, feed the power in, feed the power in, feed it in like an absolute monster now. And that's coming into maybe the thermal shutdown at the top there. But bear in mind, it's coming uphill. Okay. Okay, now all the stuttering that was there before, previously at the high end, I'm in the thing accelerates like a missile now. Okay, no hesitancy at all at the start there. It's 
So, if anybody thought that felt fast, it felt absolutely terrifying with the noise the Mod 1 gearing makes as it came past. So, what have we got on the speed? Hundred and fourteen miles an hour. All I've done is add the cat pack. Hundred and fourteen miles an hour with the cat pack. That's coming up the darn hill. So there we have it. Hundred and fourteen miles an hour on a felony on 6S. It ran 98 without the cat pack. I do not think the cat pack would make that much of a difference. Maybe the weather's a little bit better today. I'm not sure, yet, but it's got exactly the same gearing on the car. The one thing I have got on there today is the Power Hobby twin fans because I was having some heat issues the other day, yet again with the motor, because this is a second motor on this car that I've had to replace due to it getting too warm. And apologies for the noise, but that Power Hobby fan is highly recommended as it definitely helps keep things cool, particularly a nice warm Californian day like today. So, if you wondered if a catback made any difference to the speed, 98 miles an hour versus 114 miles an hour at the top end. And that Power Hobby 100C battery is just absolutely mind blowing. Night versus day difference on this thing. So if you want a felony that's gonna go over 100 miles an hour, you know what to buy. So 114 miles an hour versus 98. I will say it takes a bit of practice as to know, to know when to nail the throttle because this thing is comes into its best right at the top end. If you are doing speed runs with your car and you've been finding it's going slower at the top end than you thought and the car, you can almost hear the car stuttering, the motor stuttering as though it's not getting enough juice. That is exactly what is happening. The battery, try as it might, is trying to force as much energy through the ESC but the motor simply wants to pull in too much fuel if you like. And, it's, and everything simply can't deliver it there. So you get the voltage chopping up and down, which is that stuttering noise that you can hear and that prevents the car from absolutely maxing out. The cap pack provides the extra voltage so you don't have that stuttering and normalizes it right down, keeps the voltage towards its peak and your car goes like a missile. So it will take a bit of work and practice as to knowing when to maximize, when to hit the full throttle to get the peak speed out of your car because you've only got a few seconds of boost with this thing it with this thing running flat out before it also needs recharging from the battery feeding the motor a crazy amount of power at the time so what it's most basic that is what it does anyway hope you enjoyed today's video i certainly really really enjoyed making it and the performance of this thing is just second to none i've had a few issues with the armor felony in the past, particularly in terms of heat, but with my twin power hobby cooling fans on there now, definitely helping keep the motor temperature down, which in turn is helping to keep the ESC cooler. Anyway, any comments or questions you might have, far away below the video. Thanks for watching, and if you like what we've seen today, don't forget to subscribe. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video, and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.